TJ Harley, very impressive. Boogie Woogie Man, both in the ring right now. It's a family reunion. It's a family reunion on Hammerjack. Just trading blows, trading blows to Hammerjack. Hammerjack goes rolling out the ring. Charming Charles, not as bad as you. Hello again, everybody. Jack Johnson along with Hot Rod Biggs. And you're watching Southern All-Star Wrestling Hot Rod. We've got quite a card here tonight. The TV title tournament going on. And fans, you can print these brackets off on www southernwrestling.net that's on the internet hot rod why don't you run over those matches for us are you kidding me jack johnson i'm not what kidding exciting you show we've got on today's broadcast southern all-star wrestling television tournament we're gonna have eric andrews as he takes on jerry lynn and that's just for starters jack johnson we've got am vision in a first round matchup against damian adams lennox lightfoot will be taking on norway havoc and mason rage We'll be taking on Hammerjack. All that and much, much more right here today, Jack. It's all right here, Hot Rod, and Saw starts now. watching Southern All-Star Wrestling, Jack Johnson along with Hot Rod Biggs in the ring right now. It is the international superstar, Jerry Lynn. You know Jerry Lynn, Hot Rod is fought all over the world. ECW, TNA, WWE, WCW. No one he hasn't fought. He's in the ring right now with Eric the Dragon Andrews. What a matchup we've got here. The big tournament is kicked off and this right here, first round matchup, Eric the Dragon Andrews against Jerry Lynn. Top competitors and top action here, Hot Rod Biggs. What could you ask? Could you ask for more than this in a matchup in SAW? We're about to find out as Jerry Lynn ties him up. He's got him back into the turnbuckles. Jerry Lynn has got a lot more ring experience than Eric the Dragon Andrews, Jack. But we've all seen exactly what Eric the Dragon Andrews is capable of, and I'm very interested in seeing who's going to come out on top right here, Jack. You know, it's interesting. Similar athletes, of course. Uh, Jerry Lynn has got all the moves in his repertoire. He's been around for a long time, and it's amazing. You could have seen him 10 years ago. He looks the same right now. And uh, Eric Andrews, like I said, a great athlete as well, probably one of his, uh, one of his heroes is Jerry Lynn. As, Jerry Lynn's a lot of people's heroes. Jerry Lynn, former cruiserweight heavyweight, cruiserweight champion. Excuse me there, Jack. I'm he so wants excited about this matchup. Hot Rod. It's hard to keep up with him. Absolutely. WWE cruiserweight champion. Held by Jerry Lynn. He was the inaugural TNA X Division champion. And right now he has got his sights set on the Southern All-Star Wrestling Television title. You saw, saw him real recently in TNA. Now here in SAW looking for some, for some top-notch. Look at that. You know, for a guy to be that flexible is, is just amazing to me, Hot Rod. I don't know if you've ever been in the ring with this guy, but uh, a lot of people have. And uh, he just continues to amaze me year after year what he can do. And Eric Andrews is finding out what he can do right now. Eric Andrews getting a wrestling lesson, and that's that's some, that's a lot to say for an athlete the caliber of Eric the Dragon Andrews, but you just said it. Jerry Lynn has been all over the world. He's been in this business a long, long time. He has beat anybody who is anybody. He's got a victory over him, Jack. Both men working the full arm drag and twist, and both men just kind of filling each other out early on. But uh, Jerry Lynn going with the scoop. Now the slam. Look out, Jerry Lynn. Oh, misses. Eric Andrews, Andrews, same move there. He misses as well. Nobody connecting. Jerry Lynn follows up with a textbook arm drag, and Eric the Dragon Andrews is down, and official Ricky Bell is in there right on top of the action, Jack. Textbook, a good word to use, Hot Rod, because if you had a textbook of wrestling, Jerry Lynn, the international superstar, could probably write that textbook. I would guess that Eric Andrews would want to be someone to read that textbook, and apparently he has over the years. He's done his homework. He's got moves as well, but look at look at Jerry Lynn go. Jerry Lynn with Eric Andrews in the armbar right now. 
Eric Andrews doing all he can trying to get out of that to no success. And then right there with the head scissors, Eric Andrews just won up Jerry Lynn there, Jack. Jerry Lynn looked like uh, maybe he underestimated him just for a second. Look out. Another arm textbook takeover. arm drag, this time delivered by Eric the Dragon Andrews. Jerry Lynn, uh, he, of course, he's, he's, he's seen all the moves, and he's got all the moves. And you got to think that Eric Andrews, with his display today, has uh, maybe surprised the Jerry Lynn just a little bit. I have not had the pleasure of being in the ring with Jerry Lynn. I have had the pleasure and sometimes the displeasure of being in the ring over the years with Eric the Dragon Andrews, and I know exactly how tough an individual Mr. Andrews is, but I'm telling you this right now, Jack. I just don't know if Eric the Dragon Andrews is going to be able to score a victory right here today over Jerry Lynn. He, even without a victory, uh, he's impressed me so far, just being in with a ring veteran like Jerry Lynn. Look at Jerry Lynn go rolling around that ring like that. I swear to you, it looks like, he looks like he looked 10 years ago. If you put in just a, a, a few years ago, uh, he's, he's just not changed much in the last 15 years. Jerry Lynn, definitely one of the top athletes in the sport of professional wrestling today. Right here for all the fans all across the country in the first round matchup for the recently vacated Saul Television Champion. And there he goes. This could be it right there. Eric Andrews up. Another textbook arm drag, and Jerry Lynn is all over Eric the Dragon Andrews. You know, Eric Andrews, you saw that monkey flip there. He really impresses me how he just pops back up. Uh, just a guy that pops right back up. After such a tough, hard move, that, that says something for his athleticism, his stick to and he's just really doing well. Jerry Lynn still working over that arm, whipping uh, Andrews into the turnbuckle. Now over the top rope goes Jerry Lynn. Lynn coming back, and, oh, look out. Look, a series of moves there. And then it looks like uh, Jerry Lynn had a little something up his sleeve. Hooks the leg with a cover. One, two, kick out. Eric Andrews showing his resilience as he kicks out on two after what a devastating maneuver by Jerry Lynn. Not enough to keep the Dragon down for the three count. Like I said, Hot Rod, the Dragon has impressed me. I would think, uh, oh, look out, look out. He just impressed me with his uh, preparation in this. And you got to wonder, Jerry Lynn has to go in night after night. And everybody knows he's been around a while. He's a veteran. And he goes in night after night, has to fight these young guys, he's fighting people 10, 15, probably at this point even 20 years younger than he is. And how does he do it night after night on the road, federation after federation? And you know Hot Rod Biggs, after all these years, if one man didn't get the respect from a lot of organizations, it was Jerry Lynn. He really never got the respect when he should have. Maybe in ECW got a little, uh, definitely not in WCW or, or WWE. TNA, you could even argue. Didn't give him his propers, but here in SAW, he is here in full force. Jerry Lynn absolutely right here, giving the opportunity to showcase his talents. It's Southern All-Star Wrestling and showcasing his talents he is doing up until that very moment where Eric Andrews now has got the upper hand in the matchup, but it's gonna take a lot more than that, Jack, to beat a veteran the caliber of Jerry Lynn. Eric Andrews came to play ball today. I'm telling you, this guy has done his homework. He's definitely watched some tape. I've never taken nothing away from Eric the Dragon Andrews. Eric the Dragon Andrews is definitely one of the toughest individuals on the wrestling scene today, Jack, and I say that from personal experience. But let's face it, Jerry Lynn, former WWE champion, former ECW champion, former TNA champion, and what an honor it is that now I get to sit here and watch him as he starts his quest off to become the Southern All-Star Wrestling Television Champion and add that to his repertoire. You know, it was funny in TNA when they had uh, the X Division, when it was really the X Division, Jerry Lynn really defined that. I thought, of course, they, they got away from that and it's nothing now, but a guy like Jerry Lynn comes in, it, it, it seems he did better than anybody in that division. I'll have to agree with you on that, Jack Johnson. You talk about maybe Jerry Lynn never got to live out his full potential. The politics of this business have gotten the best of Jerry Lynn sometimes over the years, but Jerry Lynn always comes out fighting. You look at the man, he is probably in the best shape of his life right now. The guy's a phenomenal athlete. He has got agility just to the hilt, Jack. There's nothing this guy can't do, and he has got his sights set on this title. Oh and my. if I've got to make a first-round pick, Jack Johnson, I'm taking Jerry Definitely Lynn. Definitely, if you were building a wrestling fantasy franchise, you'd take Jerry Lynn. You know, he's a guy that's had a bunch of injuries over the years, taking over a year to get, get over him sometimes. 
and he keeps coming back. You know when a guy has a shoulder, a knee, a ham, uh, something like that, some kind of injury, you wonder, can he come back to that level that he was before? And time after time, you would say, well, it's been a couple more years. Maybe Jerry Lane can't. But he did every time. Every time he came back as good as he was and better. Eric wow. Andrews tried for the roll-up and got a short drop kick to the face for his troubles right there. Jack Johnson, it's an interesting point you bring up. You talk about the injuries that wrestlers suffer. I'm sitting here beside you because of an injury. This man has had injury after injury after injury. And, hey, all the boys do it. Wrestlers go in that ring every single night, and they wrestle hurt. But the caliber of Jerry Lynn, the phenomenal conditioning, the ring knowledge, that right the there? drive, the determination, that's exactly what's driving him as he takes Eric Andrews down right now. That Not bridge, enough for the That three. bridge right there in the backslide defies his age. A man his age shouldn't be that flexible. Oh, look out. Look out. Eric Andrews may have taken the wind up. Jerry Lynn, look at covered and one, two, and Lynn kicks out. Lynn kicks out there, Hot Rod. I'll tell you what I find interesting here, Jack Johnson, is the indecisiveness of the crowd. Half of the crowd is kind of supporting Eric the Dragon Andrews. The other half of the crowd seems to be supporting Jerry Lynn. I'm very interested to see the outcome of this matchup. Both men giving it their all as they've both got their sights set. Oh, and a little bit of tight pulling by Eric the Dragon Andrews. I sense desperation, Jack. Both these men with fans here tonight. Look out, Jerry Lynn is, oh my, look out. What a devastating maneuver from Jerry Lynn and Eric Andrews kicked out. Both men with their fans here tonight. Uh, you got to thank Eric Andrews, the local crowd. Jerry Lynn gets the, uh, you know, he's been around a long time, gets the uh, legendary favorite oh, status. So there's gonna be a lot of Jerry Lynn fans wherever you go. Oh my, look at that. Whoa! Eric Andrews rolls him up and he got it, Jack. My first round pick is taken out. I cannot believe what I've just seen. Eric the Dragon Andrews with the victory what a major over league Jerry victory. Lynn. What a major league victory over Jerry Lynn. Eric Andrews scores right there. That's one, that's one for the scrapbook, Hot Rod. That is one for the scrapbook. For one, Mr. Eric Andrews. I've never taken anything away from Eric Andrews, but I am in surprised. In SAW, and you just fought a guy that, that surprised a lot of people. Apparently, he's done his homework. I, he's probably wore out a VCR just watching matches of yours over the years. I'll tell you what. Nothing, and I mean nothing, in the sport of professional wrestling will ever surprise me. I actually have been all over the world. Just when I think I've seen everything, something else comes up. I just got back two days ago from India staring down barrels of machine guns. I'll tell you what, I'm traveling all over looking for the top talent because I'm not anywhere close to ending my career. And I'm always looking for the top talent to keep me on my toes because wrestling is my life. You heard it right there, fans from Jerry Lynn. We'll be right back with more. You're watching Saw. Handyman at 615-424-5501. We offer tub reglazing, drywall, plumbing, painting, electrical, no job too small for the handyman at 615-424-5501. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. W 
BMW Auto Sales new location in Hendersonville, Tennessee at 118 Shackle Island Road. Their new number is 822-5010. For good, affordable, clean cars, call Wayne and Linda today at 822-5010. L&W Rental Properties. Looking for a rental home? One, two, three bedrooms? Call Wayne and Linda at 822-5010. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. Sold. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've just turned on the TV, you are watching Southern All-Star Wrestling. Jack Johnson along with Hot Rod Biggs in the ring right now. AM Vision. AM Vision. The Cardiovascular Massacre. That is him. And Damian Infamous Adams. AM Vision. Get it right, He'll Jack. put Get the infamy right. on you. That's what he puts on you, Hot Rod. Both men locked up in the middle of the ring right now. We've got a here. It's the TV title tournament. That's what everybody wants. That's exactly right. I believe we got some words from these gentlemen, Jack Johnson. Why don't we take a look at that right now? It turns the tide of the matchup. Here in the second match of our TV title tournament, you know, we've seen some great matches, and uh, this is just uh, another one of those. A great, you know, great pairing. We went over at the first of the show. As you saw the brackets, and again, fans, you can you can print out the brackets on uh, the website, southernwrestling.net, and see all the great athletes we got here. We see AM Vision, Damien M. Damien M. with a monkey flip over. Vision, look out. Tough Deep arm drag away. there. Oh my! Body slam from Damien Adams. This guy is all over AM Vision right now, Jack. Damien Adams with the Irish whip into the corner, and now with the look. Oh, try to monkey flip in the corner, but no. Vision knocks him off, and Vision trying to get everything under control. But that was just a flurry of great maneuvers by Damien Adams right there, Hot Rod. As we see AM with a knee to the back of Adams, and now still working him over into the corner. Damien Adams on the defense right now, not doing too good of a job. His AM Vision is trying to eat him for lunch right now, Jack Johnson. What a way to start a Saturday morning right here. You know, we just seen the big match over with Eric Andrews and Jerry Lynn. I want to talk about something, Jack, that we haven't talked about yet this morning. And I'm talking about what on with handsome Jimmy Valiant last week. Handsome Jimmy Valiant, you know, he's, what, 65 years old now? The guy still gets in the ring and cleans up. He can still do wrestle, business. He's the only man to ever wrestle over five generations. He was he come right here to Southern All-Star Wrestling for all these fans. And you see what somebody like Charming Charles and Hammerjack, the stunts they try to pull, it just never ceases to amaze me, Jack. Side back breaker by AM Vision on Adams now with the cover. He's got him up one, two, and no, Adams kicks out. Both of these guys will the television title, as does everybody in Southern All-Star Wrestling. Very good matchup thus far, but I've got to say, Jack, it's gone mostly in the favor of AM Vision. AM Vision, the cardiovascular massacre. Also in there with a the guy with uh, cardiovascular skills, and that's Damian Adams. Both men, a good matchup here today. You know, you were talking about handsome Jimmy Valiant. 
The guy, uh, you know, if you hadn't seen him in a while, almost unrecognizable just because of the beard. You know, we saw him, but he, he still came in and, and did business there. And uh, Charles took up. Charles and one hammerjack found out just oh, how yes. much fight Jimmy Valiant still had left in him. He still had it going on in the ring, and the guy still cuts you. Know, uh, uh, still, still a great athlete. You know, I've always heard once a great athlete, you're always great, and he still is. And we see AM Vision with a side headlock on Damian Adams. Damian Adams now shoots him off the ropes, and now back elbow to the head of Adams by AM. AM oh, tries a lock there, but no boot to the midsection by Adams. Adams. Off the ropes with AM Vision. AM Vision swings, or rather ducks the, ducks the line, and then uh, with the side headlock back on Adams. Real close to workings and maneuverings right in there in the middle of the ring. Back with the standing side headlock right in the middle of this phenomenal matchup. Big back-to-back -back suplex right there, and the crowd just loved that maneuver by Damian Adams. I think it come a little bit out of desperation, though, Jack. This guy's come all the way from Puerto Rico, and he's trying to make his name known right here, and AM Vision is standing in his way. Double axe head the chest, now the back, and knife chop. Big back drop. Up and over Adam. there. This crowd's into this TV title tournament. You know, both these men take pride working right in the middle of the ring. You always hear uh, that one, Vision. Uh-oh, look out. He's, I think he's sick and it's about over. Going with a pile driver. Whoop, no. Kurt Herring just told him no pile driver, and Damian Adams brought him down. You got to admonish senior official Kurt Herring. He was stopping AM Vision from the pile driver, just like Damian Adams stopped him from that two count. He goes to the backside. Is he going to get him, Jack? AM Vision out on two. Damian Adams being relentless in his in his quest for this title right now, Jack. And he gets a he gets a devastating knee and a punch to the face. Oh. AM Vision just the bottom of his boot for his trouble. Like I say, Dude, both men. Going so fast, I can't even <laughs> keep up, Jack. There's a two count, and oh, it looks like it looks like Vision's boots on the rope. You know, prior to that move. Both men working primarily in the middle of the ring. You know how right as a wrestler, men take pride saying they're going to pin another wrestler right in the middle of the ring. You see both men up until this point working right in the middle of the squared circle. And now big knife chops by Damian Adams on AM Vision. He whips AM Vision into the corner. And, oh, he takes the boot to the face. These AM Vision are... is coming back. AM Vision with his feet on the ropes, and he stole that victory, Jack. He, hey, he stole did. that victory. He did what he had to do. Back there, Hodge. We look back there, Hodge. We look back there, Hodge. We look back there, Hodge, Rod. You can see right there, Jack. Watch. Feet you can the see ropes. the feet, feet on, on the ropes, ropes. but uh, obviously that's obvious to everyone that's watching this program. But Hodge, Rod, the referee didn't see it. That's the only one that needed to see it. No instant replays in professional wrestling. AM Vision with the first round victory over Damian Adams. We'll be right back. Remember, you're watching. Great exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage here in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. 
Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect, and he'll put his reputation to work for you. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Noray Havoc accompanied by the manager of champions. How ironic it will be when they walk out of here with that television title because my pick right now for the winner is in the ring right now, and I'm talking about Noray Havoc. You're picking Noray Havoc as your pick to click, as you say, Hot Rod Biggs. To go all the way and become the next Saul television champion. I don't know, as an announcer, I can actually uh, pick someone, you know, to win the tournament. I would seem somewhat biased if I did, I would think, but. Uh, no Ray Havoc or any of these guys would be a good blind pick. Uh, they're all uh, great athletes. And uh, Lennox Lewis, I would—I uh, don't want to give a favor to Rod. Like I said, I, I'm an unbiased uh, uh, observer, if you will. Lennox Lightfoot coming in at 206 hey. pounds out of Little Rock, Arkansas. A Greco-Roman poke to the eyes. Right there, I, I think I missed that back in the... Catches catch can wrestling, the poke to the eyes. Unbelievable. Paul Adams signaling for timeout now, Hot Rod. Paul Adams showing his vast wrestling knowledge. Greco Roman poke to the eyes. The man knows it all, Jack. I think he read all those uh, old time wrestling books. Not. Lennox Lightfoot coming back in the ring. You know, I gotta say, while I am picking Noray to win the title, to go all the way, I can't take nothing away from Lennox Lightfoot. I mean, this guy is a package. This guy's got it all, Jack. He's got that, you know, the four wins tomahawk chop when he comes out of that springboard. Uh, the medicine wheel, he's got a lot of great moves. Lennox Lightfoot and works on him and does his homework. Jack, I, I've just been told we've got some words from a uh, cocky and blinded Sean Casey. So uh, keep your eyes on the match, Jack. We're going to get some words right now from Sean Casey. Sean Casey, Hot Rod, is blind, and can you believe I just sit here? Sean Casey's here. He's blind. He 
I didn't know what to do. that he's not a part of this tournament. Sean Casey wants his television title as much as anybody. He come into Southern All-Star Wrestling to make his presence known, and you see what happened to him. The man can't see a lick. You seen him out here last week. He's calling moves and wasn't going on. He was sitting backwards in the chair. He was talking to the wall. This guy's lost his mind, Jack. He truly has lost his mind. Like I said, Hot Rod, I had to sit out here with him with a blind guy. And, and the worst punishment is he's got the beautiful Miss Samantha in his side all the time. Can you imagine what it's like? It's bad enough that the man can't see himself in the mirror, but he can't even look at his he can't even look at his girl, Jack. She definitely and is Andrews something. Is gonna pay for that. She's definitely is something not to look at. And I mean that in a blind kind of way, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I know what I see right now is Nori Havoc all over Lennox Lightfoot. Hard turnbuckle shot takes Lennox down. Much to the pleasure of one manager of champions, Paul Adams. Look at the look of confidence on his face right now, Jack. Paul Adams happy with his uh, happy with his stable right now. You know, these two guys look like you got the old uh, uh, fast forward on when he was uh, whipping into the turnbuckle there. These these guys are going all at it in full speed. Nore Havoc, one of the top athletes in all of the sport of professional wrestling, and that's a shoot, pal. Hot Rod, this TV title tournament. You know, we've got the TV title right here at our, at our uh, announced table. And what a prestigious title it is. You know, we've got everyone going for it. Sean Casey upset that he can't be in it right now. Like I said, a blind man is just, uh, how can he ever hope to, to come back? You know, I, that must be some pretty potent hairspray that he took in the eyes. I don't know what they, must have been that old stuff from the 80s that was eating the ozone. You remember that? I she must have had a, that. Samantha must have had a can of that stuff. I'm not sure what it was, except that it was absolutely devastating. It was bad enough that it has kept Sean Casey out of the television title tournament. Norrie having misses the elbow on Lennox Lightfoot. Drop kick from Lennox Lightfoot. Didn't catch him all the way, but he got him that time, Jack. Oh, look out. Lennox Lightfoot. The signal for the four wins. Tomahawk jogging knee hits him with that. My pick may be out early, Jack. Uh oh, he's looking for it. There it is. Four wins. He landed it on him right in the center of the ring. Come on, Nore. Get up. Get up, Nore. Lennox Lightfoot threatening to give the Tomahawk chop to the manager of champions, oh. Paul Adams. He caught Paul Adams with it right on the outside, but look out. Oh. Just enough distraction for Norway to cut him down, and that's it. Norway Havoc, your upset winner there. You know, you rooted for him, Hot Rod Biggs, or rather, you what called do you the mean action. Upset winner? I predict him to go You called the, the action like you had money on that one or something. I predict him to go all the way. I plead the fifth That's why I told you I tried to. I had the right to not implicate myself in any kind of. Maybe you drank a fifth, but that's about it. Norway Havoc, your winner on that one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable move right there. We says we've seen it again. Just coming with a with a stunner there, you know. Look at that and Lennox Lightfoot. It's lights out. The manager of champions making his giving his mission statement. Making the sheer size of Mason Rage. He hops over the top rope like it's nothing. Jack, I think both of these men had something to say about this matchup. Why don't we take a look at that right now? How about that hot rod? You saw both men talk there, but uh, now time for talking is done. And Mason Rage and Hammerjack in the ring right now, just two big old guys. How about
about that hot rod. You saw both men talk there, but uh, now time for talking is done. And Mason Rage and Hammerjack in the ring right now, just two big old guys. You know, Hammerjack and Charming Charles, you've got, they, they're up there against Mason Rage, and I say both of them because they're both out at ringside. They've both got, uh, well, like Hammerjack's got a hammer. Charming Charles has got his cane that I don't think he needs just to walk around with. And Mason Rage just has what Mother Nature gave him, you know, and both a big of these body. Guys got a and bad Charming Charles. We are unfortunately joined right now by Charming Charles. You know, Charles, we were just talking about some of the despicable things. You know, you and I used to get along. We rode up down the road together. But Charles, I'm going to tell you right here to your face. Those days are done. I have absolutely no respect for you after what oh. you've done to the Boogie Woogie Boy, to Miss Boogie, to Handsome Jimmy Valiant, and to anybody and everybody else that's got in your way. Brother, I've washed my hands with you, Charles. When well, you're going soft on me, Rod, I'm going to tell you something. Jack Johnson, I want to tell you, everybody says, Charming Charles, you ain't hammerjack what you've done to Gary Valiant. I'm sorry for what I've done. You're sorry I'm for what you've done. I'm sorry for what I've done. What I'm sorry for, Jack, is we didn't break his stinking neck with oh, a body bag and send him uh, out of here. I knew you, you know, weren't when sorry. His stinking old daddy gets in here. His stinking old daddy. His career's been washed up for several years. He's a has been. He never was, in my opinion. Look at him. He's about that big around. But the thing that kills me is Boogie's crying. You know, he's saying, oh, well, we don't have Christmas. You know, things are so bad for the Boogie Woogie boy. I'm telling you, it's like this right here. I saw his old lady at the Dickerson Road Kroger store showing her leg, oh, trying to get the money to get a vintage cabbage passed off for the stinking little runny nose, snotty nose no. kids. I don't care about him, his funky old lady. His kids look like little rats scrawling for candy. You know what? I don't his care about like their rats. Christmas. They look like little rats scrounging for kids. I got time to talk no more. Yeah, calling uh, doesn't care about Christmas and calling children rats. You heard it right there from Charming Charles. Hot Rod Biggs. He called children rats and he I disgraced am glad Christmas. He's walked away from the table. You know, Jack Johnson, I don't know what this world has come to. You know, it's no secret to anybody watching this program, anybody that's familiar with professional wrestling knows that Look I'm out! Here, Here comes, comes Boogie Woogie! Here comes Boogie! Boogie Charles is getting it what he deserves right there! Hammerjack leaves the ring! Boogie, look, his oh. neck obviously still injured. We hey, see Boogie's come Bo out. Boogie's had a concussion on that head that. Hammerjack is pounding into. Look, they're going crazy. They're going He's crazy at ringside. This is, hey, let's have some kind of ruling here, like a count out or something. Wrestling is out the window. These guys are fighting. This is crowd. I think he's counting them out here. They broke. He's Ring counting the them bell. out. Ring the he bell, Jack. Order needs to be restored, and right now this is a, looks like a, probably be a, not a no contest, but. The this time raised the hand of Mason Rage. Right and Hammerjack going at it with all they got. Boogie comes in here with an injured neck out of nowhere. Mason Rage was the legal man in the ring, had his hand raised on that Mason one. Mason Rage is going to advance in the tournament. Just one more. This is crazy. Boogie's tournament. coming again. Look out. Hot rod craziness has, has ensued here. Boogie, and look, look, they're tearing down the building. They're beating These the walls. A couple of nutcases out here. Everybody's trying to, to pull them apart. I'm glad to see the Boogie Woogie Boy get his hands on him. I'm finally glad to see it. Up, Fans, we've got some crazy action going right here. we got to restore order, Hot Rod. We've got to do something. We'll be right back with more here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. We offer tub reglazing, drywall, plumbing, 
painting, electrical, no job too small for the handy men at 615-424-5501. ProGraphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect, and he'll put his reputation to work for you. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Wrecker Service. Bailey's Wrecker Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. You're 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Wrecker Service. Bailey's Wrecker Service. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More, located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage here in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Handy men at 615-424-5501. We offer tub reglazing, drywall, plumbing, painting, electrical, no job too small for the handy men at 615-424-5501. ProGraphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. 
Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect. And he'll put his reputation to work for you. Don't wrestle with time. Sell it fast. Call Freddie Morton Auctions. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions. 931-840-5809. Sold. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, Come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers, Brakes, and more. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Southern All-Star Wrestling, Jack Johnson, along with the Boogie Woogie Boy. You heard it right there, Gary Valiant. Boogie Woogie Boy, it's been unbelievable. Here comes a Miss Boogie. Hammer Jack has just crossed the line. He's, he's been crossing the line for weeks. But, Boogie, there's something in you. You're a new Boogie Woogie boy. You're not joking around a lot anymore. I don't see you sitting on a lot of laps. Right now, you look like a disturbed man. Well, everybody has seen what's happened over the last couple weeks. First of all, he takes a hammer, and he busts me upside the head with a sledgehammer. Puts you in the hospital. Second of all, you know, I spent the whole holiday couldn't speak to nobody. Couldn't speak to my kids, my wife, nobody. You know, I've been in this business going on 18 years. I've wrestled people such as Catfish Jones out of Rand Park, Texas. He came up to a trick where you put a rusty nail in his boot and he put 18, 18 stitches. A rusty in nail in his boot and put 18 stitches in your head. Yeah. Then I see you today. Obviously then, then you were going crazy, but right now, I, I think you've, you've gone to a new level. Well, it came to a point where I've wrestled people such as a legendary Gypsy Joe. He's used a bag of bricks. Okay, I've wrestled people as Hot Rod Biggs. Some of the toughest matches I've ever had in my life with Hot Rod Biggs. I've took chair shot after chair shot from Hot Rod. But I've never crossed anybody that's trying to put me out of this business, try to ruin my career, try to stop me from feeding my family, take care of my wife, take care of my kids. You know, you can come out here and you can trash talk me, you can kick me, you can throw dirt on me, you can do whatever you want to, but when you start laying your tongue on my wife and you start trashing my kids, I don't care who you are, if you're such guys as Reno Riggins or if you're anybody that's sitting in this crowd, Anybody is sitting at home watching this TV, any man in his right mind will not sit back and let somebody trash talk their family. Boogie Woogie, you have uh, an anger that I haven't seen here in Southern All-Star Wrestling so far, but you make a lot of sense once you verbalize it to me and the rest of the fans here in Saw. Look out. I'll tell you what I am gonna do. I wanna apologize to Freddie Morton, the commissioner of Southern All-Star Wrestling. I want to apologize to each and every one of these fans out here right now because Boogie Woogie is not going to come out cracking jokes. Boogie Woogie's not going to come out dancing. He's not going to come out kissing all the babies. Boogie's going to turn it up a notch, and Boogie's going to be Boogie. Boogie's going to go back to the old Boogie Woogie when, when you stick your nose in my face, Boogie's coming after you. So Hammerjack, Trauma Charles, you better hope to God that I don't get my hands on you. Oh, hey, hang on a second, wait a minute, oh! Hang on just a second. 
We need some control in this place. We need more security. Hang on a second. Somebody get out here. Get somebody from the back. We got some wild men back here. Hammerjack is, is out of control. Charming Charles is manhandling the world. He, he just poke, he's poking him in the throat. We need some help, and we got chairs flying everywhere. We got people down. Reno Riggins is down. Oh, God. Hang on a second, my God. Charming Charles is, he's sticking him in the throat. Look at this. Look at your sticking we need, we need some order out here, Mike Cersei. We need some. We need everybody out of the back or something. This is a crazy place. Well, he's laying him across the table. Hammerjack has got, oh my, look out! They're tearing up everything. These two men are out of control, Hammerjack and Charming Charles. We got people laying everywhere. This looks like a tornado's been through here or something. Like that. Oh my God. This is a new level. I don't. And I'm a real sick man. Don't mess with me. Take it down. Fans, I don't know if there's words for this or not. That's your Christmas. That's your Merry Christmas. I tell you, I'm trying to take cover here. I'm one of the few people standing up and around this madness. That man's had a concussion. He's, he's definitely got another one now. Oh! This is sickness. I can't believe this is going on. We've got fans down. We've got management down. We've got, we've got a man with a recent concussion down. It's not a real Merry Christmas. I've never seen anything like I this. I am in taking my life. safe cover, Hot Rod Biggs. I can't believe where we're sitting right now out of Char Charles and Hammerjack. I've been over tending to Reno Riggins, who got slumped 10, 15 foot across the ring. I come back over here, Charmer Charles has got Miss Boogie. These are some crazy people. I thought I was in a safe place, but. Come on, Hammerjack. Come on, man. That's enough. That's enough, Hammerjack. No, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, God. Pile driver, right on. How can Boogie get up from this? Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Hammerjack. Oh. Hey, that's enough, man. That's enough. We don't have an announcer's that's table. Enough. We don't. Merry Christmas. John we don't have any furniture standing. Here, man. Get out of here, brother. That's enough. <laughs> Shake my little kisses. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hammer Jack! Charlie Charles! Charles. Get to the back. Let her go, Charles. Get your own. Get to the back. We offer tub reglazing, drywall, plumbing, painting, electrical, no job too small for the handy men at 615-424-5501.
424-5501. ProGraphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new ColorSpan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect, and he'll put his reputation to work for you. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. 